Hi, I'm Ian Dyer, and I'm, I'm here in Tarpon Springs at the Court of Two Sisters. And these are my two cases here. Um, I've been a costume jewelry, uh, vintage costume jewelry um, dealer for nine years now. And I'm fortunate enough to have it here in this beautiful Tarpon Springs area with the sponge docks. Here we have Native American jewelry. Um, we have a lot of 1940s uh, Siggy Pinata. We have certain designers that were from the 40s and 50s, and that's my favorite thing, is to wear the older vintage sterling. It's all 925 sterling. We have other articles, horses and, and, and um, Native American statues. We have a lot of the, um, we have rosettes off of the horses from the 1920s. Over here we have the Mexican sterling, a lot of colorful um, 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 Mexican, also signature, along with the Native American. We have, um, we have elephant bracelets that are done by certain um, 1940s designers from Mexico. Uh, when you see the jewelry that is colorful, coral and turquoise in different colors, Zuni is, that's usually a Zuni. Uh, you know, the Mexicans used to teach the Native Americans how to do the silversmithing and the pottery. So I really like the imagination of the Mexican jewelry because it's not just their native motifs, it's different, different um, designs and creativity. Here, in my other case, um, I specialize in vintage costume jewelry that is the 19, from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and 60s down below here. But the thing that caught my eye as I got into antique, into antique jewelry was Miriam Haskell. She made jewelry in the 1920s on Fifth Avenue in a back room where she hand wired all the glass and the brass and designed it for movie stars back in the 20s and 30s. And I have some Miriam Haskell here. Um, that's what got me interested in the costume jewelry.